All right. The Twitter homie, Matt Evans says, Hey, Wiffle Conf team, any chance you can quickly put a time zone toggle on the conf schedule pages? Then we could, for example, see the times in BST. Thanking you. And, you know, Corey down here says, you create the script. I will drop it in. Well, we beat him to it and we made the script ourselves. So I've got it here in a GitHub gist, but let me just show you how I would go about doing this. So let's go ahead and open this website here in a new tab. Awesome, we have the agenda down here. We can see it starts at 8.30 a.m. And just to make sure that I am following things all right, I've got a PST or PDT, which is uh, we're in daylight savings time mode to make it even harder. I honestly usually don't like dealing with these things, but uh, you have to. So we're gonna go ahead and do it. And so we can see that uh, 8.30 in PDT is 4.30 p.m. in BST. I'm not sure, you guys are probably smart in using a 24 hour clock, but uh, we're gonna stick to the 12 hour clock here like we've got. Okay, so we have learned how to map a time from PDT to BST. Let's go ahead and kind of look at what we have available to us on the WebflowConf website. So if I open up Inspector here and I grab the little selector tool, I can hover over this one. I see it's an H3 element and it's got a class of eyebrow and another class of U and B, which I'm pretty sure is utility margin bottom zero. So that's how we can target all these elements. And I'm going to use the query selector all method to do that. So we'll say const times equals documents dot query selector all. And we'll just pass a string that's going to be H3 with a class of eyebrow and a combo class of UMB0. So just like that, and I'll press enter here, and then I will type times in, and we can see we get a node list of 48 items. And so are there are these all what we want? I'm not sure. So let's go ahead and say times dot for each, and then we can grab each time within that loop, and we'll just console.log the text content of that time. So just like so, press enter here, and we can see, okay, these are looking familiar, but also notice the first four items are not what we want. So we're gonna need to filter these out within our code and account for that. The only other thing we need to do really is take these times, which are PDT, and find some JavaScript function to map them to the user's local time. What's cool, but also sometimes a little bit confusing about the browser's date API is that it will just make everything in your local time zone. So I think this is a great candidate for ChatGPT. So I already kind of wrote out a bunch of the prompts here, but the very first prompt I had was asking for a function to convert a PDT time string like 8.30 a.m. and 10.30 p.m. to browser's local time. For example, if I was in London, then 8.30 a.m. PDT would map to 4.30 p.m. BST and you know give it some examples here. And it came up with some stuff, but the very first thing we should do is actually test this. So I'm currently in PDT myself, and I'll go ahead and come into the max settings here, come to date and time, and we will toggle off this automatic, and we'll just type in London here, and press enter. So now I am in the British summertime. How is summer over in Britain, everybody? We don't know, probably raining. Anyways, uh, da, 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 da. And is it even summer there anymore? Oh well. So what I can do is just grab this function and then run it for every individual item that we have in our list there. So if I come back here and I just paste this right here, then now that function exists on you know this instance of the page. I don't know what else to say about it, but then I'll just take this loop that I did. And rather than console logging, I will call this function that we had. So new time equals the result of that function and then we will get time dot text content and set it equal to new time. So let's click enter and we get unexpected token because I wrote the code wrong. So let's come down here and give it the token that it expects. And it still has unexpected token. I think I have an extra parentheses here and let's do that. Okay, now we get <laughs> a bunch of invalid dates. So it's wrong. Congratulations, chat GPT did not work for us. These all return invalid date. And apologies for the oversight. We'll, you know, do some stuff to try to make this better. So thank you, ChatGPT. And I kind of, what was the other thing? There was a problem with AM and PM in here. And I massaged this and used the basic strategy to come up with what we have in the gist here. Now, so convert PDT to local. Let's just look at it real quick. We're converting AM and PM to a 24-hour time format with just some string manipulation. And then based on kind of some values here, we are setting the value of hour. And then we're just setting it to, into one big string here calling our ISO string. So this is how we're going to kind of convert the time from PDT. And we'll use that date constructor here with that ISO string to create our date object. And then we'll just call to locale time string 
passing in all of that data. And then we return it. So that is this function here. Now, remember I said we have to filter out for the right string formats so that we don't get those headers. And what we can do then here is in our execution code, so we're selecting all of those H3s that I talked about at the beginning, then we are trimming the, just any white space, but there's probably not gonna be any white space, uh, but I don't know, just to have it. And then I'll check if it is a valid time format and we'll pass it that PDT time string that we have here. If it is a valid time format, then we want to convert it to local. And then we'll just console log it here so we can check ourselves. And then we'll set the text content of those H3s to that new local time. So we can go ahead and copy this and come back here. And we're gonna need to refresh because those are now all invalid times. And we'll just come into the terminal and drop it in and press enter. And we can see 8.30 has been turned to 4.30 p.m. And if we scroll down, it's looking, you know, we just wanna check ourselves 7 p.m., 7 p.m., 7.30, 8 p.m., 9 p.m., da 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 10 p.m. And we're just making sure that nothing happens around 12 because sometimes stuff can get wonky. Anyways, uh, all my friends in the BST time zone are gonna be up till 12 a.m. until that networking happy hour. Yeah, and be sure to check out all the speakers. Oh, who's this guy? Yeah, let's check out who's speaking at 9.20 p.m. in BST, of course. It is WebBay, that's me, talking about getting started with code management, leveraging Webflow, GitHub, and VS Code for client success. Be sure to check that out on October 5th. I'm really excited to present some cool stuff to you, more on how to code in Webflow, and also don't forget to check out the video that YouTube's gonna recommend right now. If you like this one, then chances are you'll like that one too. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.